Okay, I'm here with the gorgeous Mr. David Gandhi. We're going to talk quickly about a book, a very special book, Mr. Gandhi. Very special. Yeah, yes. which is actually, I mean, I was talking to you earlier about how, what an amazing collaboration to have with the design team yes. that care about you enough to do something so it's quite a phenomenal yeah, I know sort people, of I mean, testament. People kind of keep asking me, they're kind of talking about it and saying what a great honour in yeah. fact it is to you know, have all the models in the world and, and everyone they've even worked with, you know, talk about some huge names. Yeah, you know, I mean. Giselle and Naomi and you know, even they haven't had you know, their own their very own Dolce book, book. dedicated yeah. to them kind of thing. It's very, very strange. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's all I can say is it's an honour in some ways. So. I think it's uh, yeah. I think, I mean, what's amazing is it will be sort of a testimony to your time together. Yeah, I think that when, you know, when, that's the thing. When we were look, I was going back with through it with Domenico when we, you know, we incorporated all the pictures and everything else. He had loads of pictures I did. We were all trying to get them together. Um, we, we, it was just hours on end of going through, but it, and, and we just kept going, going through and going through and going through it. I mean, and then you realise the amount of work we've actually done yeah, together. That's, so how did the idea go, you know, the idea light bulb, ping, we're going to do a book, it's going to be about David. How did that happen? Was it like a really informal sort of uh, it's moment? I can't of... actually even remember really where the idea started. I mean, Domenico, what I love about Domenico and Stefano is, even after everything, they don't rest on their laurels and they just no, keep on going. And they handle what they yeah. was it 20 years last yeah. year or 25 yeah. years or yeah. something like, and 20 years from now. And you know, I joke about it because we watch the show, we watch <laughs> yeah, the yeah, show yeah, afterwards yeah. with the rest of the team after you. And then, and then Domenico looks at me and like the video finishes and he goes, Right, women's wear. And yeah. he's honestly not joking. He's like, right. He's on the Saturday, he's done the men's wear, and then virtually the Sunday, he starts kind of thinking about the women's wear and the women's shows. Gets DNG over and done with, and then he's and then he's out to the next season. And the, the, the you know the the stamina you've got to have to do that. When you did your um, light blue campaign, yeah. there were eleven million hits. I mean, for a designer, that's quite a phenomenal. Yeah. Because, of course, Dolce mm -hmm. is an Uber brand, but the fact that you being linked with that and actually getting 11 million hits yeah. is phenomenal. I mean, that, I mean, people can kind of say that and they go, they, they said, oh, well, you know, you changed the industry when, when that happened. And it's true, yeah. like, it, yeah. you know, the industry yeah. did change, but at the same time, it wasn't me who did it. I mean, luckily, well, but, I was the uh, one chosen, but, you know, um, it was Domenico and Stephanie who had the idea, and then you bring in Mario Testino. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It, like you kind of think, actually, how could that really that go wrong? Would that ever happen? But it was so well it done. Wasn't. It was so amazing. well done. Yeah, yeah, I really do. Yeah. I think yeah. like the music, the whole atmosphere of it. You want to be that person. Well, I want to be that person. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I want to yeah, be that person. Exactly. I, I want to be that. Like, 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 it is you. I'm like, yeah. yeah. You're like, I'm that exactly, person. Yeah. I'm that person. Yeah. So how long do you think the process took from inception I'm, I'm, to... Well, trying to think now I mean I mean beginning of the year easily but but before that thing so that was January and then we started I mean that was very really serious and kind of like we've got to get this done by March yeah actually kind of three months yeah. but we we're talking about that probably another pre three months before that um, so uh, you know quite a while now to get God, it all together I mean so that you're thinking is it gonna happen, yeah. is it gonna happen? and in that Milan trip as well we needed new, what I wanted from the Dominican set like that I want new visions new stuff I don't want just everyone or all your everything we've done together in the book which is very you know it's exciting it's great but yeah. so you want to give people more yeah of what you are now yeah. this is all on the path but what are you doing now yeah. so Mariana Vivanco. Yeah, he's you know, brilliant. You know, I well mean, I saw the painful image. The on the <laughs> yeah, the painful image. <laughs> we'll put that in afterwards, but there's an image where basically you're lying on a table that's got metal girders that the glass top has come off and you're sort of precariously balancing yeah. on the edge of a, almost like a steel rod. That sounds like In underwear. Yeah, yeah. Under yeah. Well, what else? Oh, the glamour. The, yeah, no, exactly. There is no but it looks glamour. Like it's a lot. It could be yeah. anywhere. Yeah, I thought board. you were on a dining Someone board. Someone might some modernist to it. Yeah. What I love, though, is the intimacy of it. Yeah, but it's... then we went back, and that's the thing. Oh. Maybe I told you about it, and he literally went, well, Mariana's in New York. He's not coming to London. Yeah. Um, we need it now. We need it by Monday. Yeah. This was Friday morning. He said, get to New York for tomorrow. Oh my when, god. So I dropped everything, got on a flight in the afternoon to New York, shot all day with Mariano from 6 am because we went oh to the, no. the sunrise in Mariano's yeah. apartment, um, and then got the, 
I've got the red eye back for Sunday morning because I was flying off somewhere else. But, the, but that shoot is, is, is stunning. So do you think that's your favourite shoot experience of the of the book? It probably or? was because we're, we're such good friends now, me and Mary, aren't they? So it was like a day out with us. And we were, yeah. having, we were having breakfast and he just took some shots. And we knew exactly how each other worked. It was just me and him and the camera. And there's like lots of intimacy. And, and that's what you get. That's yeah, what you exactly. get. And I think and in the end... a complete trust of that photographer yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. When you have to suddenly derobe, get your kit off in that moment, is there panic, fear? Do you think I'm in the yes. massive panic? <laughs> yeah, good. Yes, I for, like yes the for everything. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you do. You have. You. I suppose you become immune to it. So after a while, you know. You when you've been modelling ten years this year, um, but when you first start, and, and of course, yeah, you, you're getting your. It's you, really you, exposed. You get off your clothes off and, and, and I mean, for everyone. It, it's, yeah. It's difficult, but, but see, that's that's the difference. Because it's, it's not a close it's, set. There's a, you know. Well, the light blue is everything but a close set. Yeah, I mean, there exactly. were tourist boats going. Yeah, that's what I was like. Dirty I mean, Grandy, you know what? Yeah, there he goes again, getting his kit on. Go on, put some clothes on, yeah. man. For goodness sake. But yeah, I mean, with the, as well, like what people don't realise is that that boat that we were in, not the first time, but when we were what, the little one, and yeah, the little one, we, yeah. the one we were filming, you know, yeah. for the commercial. That was held in place with a metal bar on a huge tugboat with about Where twenty. Where's the tugboat then? The tugboat was behind the boat, so Mary. But you never see the tugboat. No, you never do. He's like, so you, so oh, he was amazing. on the boat, but so it had to stay still, otherwise you can't shoot. You know, when it's moving mm. all over the place. Um, oh, how funny! So you've got all the crew. Uh, you know, we had Mario, we had us, and then you've got these twenty Italian sailors with their spitty little <laughs> cigarettes, just staring at you as you're trying Go to film. Come on! Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's but there him. must be an element of uh, yeah. That, I mean, I would, I would be absolutely. But then, like, yeah, but then I mean, I've walked down the catwalk so many times now. In, in, and this is what this is what makes me laugh with Domenico. You know that he, they get me in for for a fit. Put on their Do you little, ever wear white speedos in real life? No, I just don't. I could. <laughs> Imagine me walking onto into a beach with <laughs> a white speedo. I mean, a pair of aviators walking around. I'm just walking around in my white. Exactly. Work. Maybe more people probably recognise. They go. Oh. That's the end, the light blue Yeah, that's the... No, but, but I mean, uh, no, in no. the reality of it, it's not... But that's what's great, because you take on a, a role, in a way. It, it is it, like it's acting. Nice. It, it is it, it, It's well, kind yeah. of fun to be that for... Be to, on any shoot, you're taking on a role. There's lots of dimensions to you that isn't just the man in the white speedo. Mm. And I think that's what's nice about the book. The book does show you in a very multifaceted well, I hope way. So. I yeah. think it does. But I mean, what do you think? But again, you can't, you know, if, if you'd gone to me you know, in, in 2006 when I started working with them, do you think you'll have, where do you think you'll be in six? And I said, I will have a book with Dolce Shingo. Well, I mean, you're it's not going to say, isn't it? I would have a candle, I would yeah, have a like, blue yeah. campaign with 11 million hits. Yeah. You can't predict. No, you can't gonna, predict. Which is the thing I love about fashion. Yeah. Um, that's the dream to have all that. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Things, sure. well, what would you like? Well, I would like to be exclusive, I would like to, you know, yeah. Have a little minute, little, you know, hit, be in a yeah, commercial with 11 minutes. It proves that you're a success, have have a book. yeah. That's the dream. If you can get there, then fine. Mm. Um, and, and that's amazing. You've almost become totally known as Brand Dolce. You, you, mm. you really have, and this is like a, the final seal, if you like, of forever being immortalised as this. Yeah. The mm. Dolce boy yeah. man actually sorry but I, I think I've just been lucky that you know I was what they you know they picture as the complete Dolce & Gabbana guy which is amazing which is, which yeah. is you know and considering you know I'm not even Italian or anything <laughs> like that I'm Greek yes, yeah. I think, you know, I'm from Essex I'm from Essex a Billy boy from Essex who, who's become the Dolce & Gabbana guy which is you know which is, which is amazing as you it's, said before how many girls have had a whole book just about them, you know. Like really, yeah, it's a, yeah. it's an amazing accolade that you will leave as a legacy, mm -hmm. really, yeah. and a testament of your collaboration and, and of six years, which is amazing. You know, not many people have such a tangible God, product, mm -hmm. you know, to to express that relationship. Mm -hmm. It's like a photo album of your life. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you very much. Uh, <laughs> there we go. There. Okay. Thanks. News at ten. <laughs> <laughs>